Hey, beautiful shot here. Good morning, everybody. This is of Mackinac Island, and you know, there's a lot of dense vegetation on Mackinac Island, but up above three, 4,000 feet above the surface, uh, Paul Kovalak, who built his own plane, he was a parishioner here uh, in Comstock Park at our uh, parish over there, but he built his own plane, and they uh, fly in, him and his wife fly into Mackinac, I believe, once a year at least, and look at this spot that is carved out here of the runway there, up around three, 4,000 feet, and there is the shoreline there. There's a bike trail that goes all the way around the island. You can rent bikes on the island or bring your own and see that island. I think it's seven or eight miles around the island. That's a really cool bike ride there, but this is a great shot. And this is the propeller. A pilot once told me jokingly saying, you know, the propeller is on these small planes to spin to keep the pilot cool. And when it stops spinning, the pilot starts to sweat. Again, I don't mean that negatively in, by any means, but I, I just found that kind of strange that a pilot would say that. But of course, there is probably some truth to that. But anyways, thanks to Paul Kovalak for that photo as well. Uh, and uh, as we look out at uh, our uh, uh, social media information. Hey, I've got that photo. I just posted on my, I like to share these. I've got that on my Facebook page. Kevin Craig Fox 17 is the page if you want to look at that. Uh, if social media is your thing, uh, like Twitter or Instagram, you can find me on that. I just put that out on Instagram as well. At Fox Weatherman is the handle there so we can connect up. Well, as we look across the lower 48 states, cold front has already moved through our area that trails all the way back into the southern plains of Oklahoma and Texas where there's some rain showers and thunderstorms along that front. And then there is is Tropical Depression Nicholas. This was a hurricane, Category 1, 75 mile per hour winds uh, yesterday morning that hit the just south of Houston, and this is bringing a ton of moisture, drawing it in off the Gulf of Mexico. Some of these places down here have had a 12, 15, 18 inches of rain. There is obviously more on the way across most of Louisiana into the central and southern portions of Mississippi and even into Alabama. So some of these places are probably going to end up with about two feet of rain, almost two feet of rain. Uh, that system will not be impacting us. And as we fly in here, there's nothing going on. We've got dry conditions out there and we'll see dry conditions throughout the next couple of days. Uh, there goes the rest of that system along the cold front with some shower activity. There are still some lingering clouds behind this system. So from Grand Rapids off to the south and east, we still have a little bit of lingering cloud cover. I think we'll clear that out of here and we'll go mostly sunny to just partly cloudy through the rest of today. Our current temperatures are in the low 60s along and south of the I-94 corridor. We're 59 in Hastings, 58 in Hopkins. Grand Rapids is 62 degrees. We're 56 in Cedar Springs in our northern counties in the mid 50s, but it's a cooler, more comfortable, drier air mass, and you can feel that. That humidity that we had yesterday and yesterday morning at this time is kind of disappearing. Temperatures today, 76 degrees for the high. We'll see mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies after this early morning cloudiness. It's certainly cooler and less humid. We'll have a northwest wind at 6 to 12 miles per hour. Here's our future track model. It shows some of that lingering cloud cover this morning, but as we go through the day, you can see that all presses off to the east. We'll see mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. These wind streamlines show us the flow, uh, and we'll have that northwest wind today. As we go through uh, tonight, there's not much going on. We'll go through our Thursday. High pressures in control, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Here comes our next weather system. It's a cold front that comes in here later on Friday. There could be a couple of light showers Friday later evening and overnight and into Saturday morning, but I'm not looking for anything heavy at all. There's just uh, not a lot of moisture with that system. Mid 70s today up around 80 degrees tomorrow with mostly sunny skies. 83 on Friday and then there's that chance of a shower Friday late evening through the overnight hours into Saturday and then temperatures in the mid 80s for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. If you go beyond the realm of that seven day forecast, we've got a 50% chance of above normal temperatures for the last week of September. So don't write summer off yet. It's not quite over. That is a look at our forecast. Just a reminder, Fox 17 looking for our next weather kid. Every month we'll pick a kid to do a weather experiment with Candace Monticelli. Just head to fox17online.com slash contest to enter your child for a chance to win. 649, it's traffic time. Here's Rob.